Hey, it's Aurelius. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to make your own personal website or portfolio to feature your products and services and share a little more about yourself. So check this out. I created this in about half an hour and you can see it's quite professional looking. And the best part about it is that it required zero skills, zero knowledge about how to make a website and of course, zero code. I've got my hero image and headline right here. I feature my courses and workshops here. And I've got this Instagram feed going on as well as featuring some of my YouTube videos. And I'll show you how to make a website just like this step-by-step step in this tutorial. If you don't have a website yet, I urge you to start one today because for the simple fact that you don't wanna put all your eggs in one basket, meaning you don't wanna build just on Instagram or just on YouTube, you wanna be able to diversify and control what you actually own. So therefore a website is so crucial in that aspect. And not only that, with a website, you look more professional in the eyes of your audience and potential clients and customers. While everyone else is building on social media, you can stand out with your own personal website. So with that said, let's go ahead. We're gonna grab our favorite beverage. We are gonna grab our mouse or trackpad because it's simply gonna take a few clicks of your mouse button. All right, so the very first thing you're going to need is web hosting. Simply put, web hosting is a place, it's a data center where your website is hosted so that the whole world can see. And the web host that I recommend is called Hostinger. Hosting is an all-in-one solution, especially if you're a beginner. It not only is a place where you can host your website, but with Hostinger, it allows you to use its drag and drop website builder to build your website really quickly and easily. Their pricing and plans are very affordable and they always have promotions going on, but the plan that I recommend you go with is premium web hosting. The reason why is because you're able to host up to 100 websites. So let's say after building one, you've got this other great business idea and you wanna start that again, you can host it on the same account too. You also get a free domain name. So if you wanna look professional in the eyes of your audience, you wanna make sure you grab your own domain name. So for instance, my domain name is aureliustigian.com and this is great for branding too. So it'll be yourname.com or whatever extension you'd like, but we'll go through that in this tutorial. Too. You'll also be able to create up to 100 email addresses, making it look professional. So it could be hello at yourdomain.com. And in terms of building your website, you can build a fully blown WordPress website and it's all managed. So it's optimized for WordPress or you can use hosting as website builder. Whichever way, you'll be able to build the kind of website you wanna build. So to start, grab your premium web hosting by clicking on add to cart. Choose a period, you can pay on a monthly basis, every 12 months, 24 months, or 48 months. Obviously, the higher your period, the cheaper it gets. But let's say you wanna go with 24 months, scroll down, and when you check out, you can actually add another coupon that'll give an additional discount. If you click on have a coupon, click that once and then enter coupon code Aurelius and apply it. And this is something I arrange with Hostinger for subscribers and viewers only. After you've applied it, it should take effect that coupon right there. So for this amount, you're getting 24 months or two years of web hosting, which is really, really affordable. Complete the rest of the details and check out. After that, you'll go through the process of setting up your website. So the first step is this, you can click on start now to follow the guided setup. And hey, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna create or migrate a website? We are going to create a new website in this tutorial. So we'll select this. Next, select a platform to start with. You can use hosting as a website builder. It's really beginner friendly, easy to use. I Try this and the website that you saw I created earlier on is the exact website platform that I used. And yes, by going this route, you'll still be able to sell your products and services. As you can see, it includes an e-commerce solution. You can also set up your website using WordPress. It does require a little more experience in my opinion, but if you do wanna learn how to set up your website using WordPress and with hosting us specifically, I do have another tutorial. Links will be in the description box below. But in this video, I'm gonna go the easy route and use hosting as a website builder. But I don't wanna hype it up, but it really is is drag and drop friendly. I've used many platforms before, but this is one of the easiest website builders I've ever used. All right, so we're gonna select hosting a builder. Next, you're going to name your website or in other words, get a domain name. Because you signed up for premium web hosting, you get your first year of domain registration for free. So in this case, we are going to select claim a free domain. Enter your domain name and where the extensions are listed right here, select whether you want a .com, .me, so on and so forth but in most instances, you want to try to get a .com since it's quite universal. Most people know a .com. I know for a fact that realistigian.com is already taken. So if you do get this invalid uh, kind of error, 
then try something else. In this demo, I'm just gonna put a number two and a dot com for this and click on search. Domains available. So we are gonna continue. Complete the rest of the registration. And now this is where the magic happens. Because we selected hosting as easy website builder, you're given fully customizable website templates. You can choose based on a category. So let's say we are in fashion, you can select that. You can, if you're in marketing, you can select one of these. E-commerce, one of these as well. So there's a range of categories as you can see based on your industry or niche. But what we're going to do is select marketing and under marketing, you've got quite a few of these marketing based landing pages and templates. Before you select a template, you can always preview it by hovering over, selecting preview. And this is an example personal brand website. It's also mobile friendly. As you can see, this is what it looks like on a tablet and also on a mobile devices. So go ahead and select the template that's right for you. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize this particular template. And right off the bat, it's created the template for us. It's created the website and the sections and elements and we've got the logo and navigation. So there's zero work in terms of putting all this together from scratch. All we really need to do is to replace what's existing, perhaps changing the brand colors to match our brand. When you first build your website, you will be guided in several steps. So it will show you what this on the left is and this on the right at the top, but you can always refer to the starting guide right here as well. But it's really easy to navigate. On the left, you've got certain elements that you can add. So adding elements such as text and buttons. We've got different pages and navigation. So everything's controlled under here. You've got website styles. This means the colors and also the text and fonts. You've got different button shapes, animations too. If you're planning to start a blog, there's a section called blog where you can publish your latest articles and so on. Online store, this is the e-commerce solution where you can sell your products and services. A few fun AI tools for you right here. We've got analytics as well. But let's get started and customize our website a little. At the top, you've got a preview of what it looks like on mobile as well as desktop. You can switch between editor and preview modes by clicking on preview and that'll get rid of the editing functions. Firstly, let's change our logo. So we'll click that navigation area or header area once and you'll see change logo click on change logo replace the image by clicking here upload our logo file if you have one so mine's right here and i'll click on open and now it's inserted you can fine tune the size of the logo by again selecting the header going to change logo and you can change the logo width to make it smaller or bigger but that looks pretty good right there. Next, you can add an image or self-portrait of yourself like this. You don't have to, but <laughs> if you do want to, you can select that. And if you double click, you can replace the image, but it's really easy to position as well. So if you wanna drag it somewhere here, you can. Again, it's drag and drop. So if you want it on the right instead, you can do that while the headline goes on the left. So switching things up is as easy as that. But let's say I want it in this position, I can then double click and then click on replace image. I'll upload a photo of myself. So upload files and I'll select this one right here. Insert that. Now that's replaced. What I'm going to do is resize this. So really simple. It's just a matter of decreasing the size. I'm going to increase the height right here, make a little smaller. So it looks nice right there. Changing the headline, just double click. And now I'll put in digital tech tips. There's a call to action button, which I can also drag and drop anywhere I like. Let's say you want to add a another line of text or a subtitle slogan, simply go to add element, click on text, and we'll add it somewhere here. Don't worry about the sizing yet, that can all be adjusted. So I've put in tool reviews, AI and the future. I oh, will decrease the size by selecting the font size and let's say something like 24, looks good. And we'll just drag it somewhere here. Centering this is really easy, click on edit text. So I'll click on alignment to the center and now I can move it right there. And it's great that they have these guides so you know where the center is or left alignment or right alignment. So by following those guides, it makes things a whole lot easier. Changing the background is as simple as clicking the background and then click on change background. So essentially, if you see something that you want to edit, you just click that and it works in that way. It's intuitive. Again, you can either replace the image or you can 
use a color instead. Choose a section color by clicking this and then selecting it. If you don't know what your brand colors are just yet, you can kind of come up with one using a color generator tool. Something like colorhunt.co allows you to see some variations and some color palettes that you could very well use for your website and brand. The demo website that I created looks something like this. So I've got some sage color, you know, some light kind of brown color. And this is the palette that I went with. So it gives you these hex codes that you can go with. By clicking once, it copies it to the clipboard. You go back to where you're designing your website and then where you can see the hex code, you simply paste it in and that should take effect. And that's how it looks like. Of course, you can make adjustments if you think it's not right. We can go back to change the background, going to section color, and then we can adjust, adjust it the way we want. So something a little lighter right there looks pretty good. In terms of the rest of the colors of the website, such as the text and the headings, this can be globally changed by going to website styles. And under colors, you can see that uh, there's this uh, kind of orange color. We can change that. And it doesn't show exactly what uh, it is in terms of the elements, but if we select a different color, let's say black, uh, we will accept that. And then some things will change, right, on the website. So this one right here could be the buttons, uh, such as this where it says, tell me more. And for the buttons, I'll go back to my color palette. I wanna use this color here, this sage color. So I'll click that, copy it, and I'll select, enter the hex code and accept. Now we've got the sage colored buttons all throughout the website right here too. So feel free to take your time in this step to customize it the way you want, adding certain images, elements, text, and headings. Again, by going to add element, you can add any type of element such as text, buttons, we've got different shapes, uh, an Instagram feed, which is what I used to create something like this, where it says you're invited to join my journey on Instagram. Editing your other pages, including your about page and things like your courses is as simple as clicking that navigation there and then editing anything you want. Alternatively, you can also go to pages and navigation and then clicking on an appropriate page or category. So let's say your Instagram course right here, as you can see. And to add a new page, go to pages and navigation and there's a button called add page. Name your page, give your page a URL. So it'll be your domain name.com forward slash this page name. I've just named it new and you can see it's now on the navigation bar. And here's the main page that I can start with. Or you could very well duplicate one of the existing pages. Let's say I wanna duplicate the Instagram course page. I'll just click on the settings or gear icon and there's a button called duplicate. So that way I don't need to start from scratch again. You can easily rearrange your sections by clicking on any of the sections and then you'll see up and down. So let's say we wanna move this below courses and workshops. So we'll click that once and then click on down. And now it is below courses and workshops right here. Wanna add a new section? It's as simple as clicking on add section below any of the existing sections that you see on the template. So let's say we wanna add a section right here. We'll click once and we can add particular sections such as an about area or a contact form. We've got footers, we've got image, we've got an Instagram feed type. Going down, we've also got testimonials. Let's say we like this one here. We'll click once and now it's added. And again, everything is drag and drop friendly. So if we drag it right here and instead like changing the different, you know, images and the arrangement of things, we can do so. We are editing in desktop mode. So if you do want to switch to mobile view, this is how it's going to look like. There is some tweaking required. So this image right here, again, just dragging, increasing the height so that it fits and making sure we are arranging things the way we want. So right here is where I want it. And at the top is where the heading, heading goes. The call to action button, we can also move, let's say, you know, down the bottom. So we can rearrange it the way we want and decreasing, increasing the size of each section, as you can see. But that's how easy it is to edit in both desktop and mobile view. If you do plan on selling products and services, you can use its online store feature and let's click on add store. And just like that, with a click of your mouse button, it's inserted some dummy items, which you can then manage and you can add certain products. So we'll manage store. And this is where you can set up your products. We can also add online payment methods and a list of other options right here. But that's how you get that e-commerce feature integrated to your personal website. Once you're done customizing your website, it should look something like this, of course, without my image and all the text and everything that's on this page. But 
you know, this is something I achieved in about 30 minutes, as I mentioned. Now, once you're ready to show off your website and publish it to the web, all you need to do is click on go live and then it'll say congratulations and you can view your website. So if you remember your domain name, that is the address. And now my website's live, as you can see with the URL, I simply copy and paste that on social media to my audience and basically tell the whole world about it. All right, as you saw in this tutorial, couldn't get any easier to build your first website, whether you wanna start an e-commerce store to sell products and services, or if you wanna build a personal website, just like this one right here. Hosting is a great choice to start with. As you saw, using its easy website builder, you can drag and drop certain elements, click on anything and edit anything you see on the editor. And it's really affordable to get started. So if you wanna finally get your website up and running and get your business going, then use the link in the description box below. And don't forget that coupon code Aurelius to get a further discount on top of the already reduced prices that Hostinger has. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Hope it was helpful, but in the meantime, do stick around to watch these next relevant videos.